Hello friends, my name is Sebi Kumar and I welcome you to my YouTube channel Sebi Mentor. Friends, today I am going to discuss about the uh, chain drive speed calculation. Friends, the chain drive gives a higher transmission efficiency uh, up to uh, 98% since uh, there is no slippage during power transmission. In today's video, I am going to uh, tell you about the calculation of the chain drive. Watch the video till end. Let's start the video. First of all, let's see the function of the chain drive. The chain drive are used to perform three basic functions. First for the transmitting power and second for the conveying of material. And the third one for the timing purpose. Let's go forward and see in detail the chain drive. This is a smaller sprocket. This is a larger sprocket and this is a, a chain link. This the upper portion is known as the uh, tight side and the lower portion of the chain is uh, slack side when the direction of rotation is clockwise. And if we alter the direction of rotation of chain drive uh, to counter clockwise then uh, this uh, top side of the chain will become uh, slack side and the bottom side of the chain will become tight side. Let's see how to calculate chain drive speed. In chain drive system, there is a formula to calculate the drive speed. The formula is N1 T1 is equal to N T2, where N1 uh, is equal to speed of sprocket 1, and T1 is equal to number of teeth in sprocket 1, N2 is equal to speed of sprocket 2, and T2 is equal to number of teeth in sprocket 2. Let's see with an example the calculation of chain drive speed. If N1 is equal to 1500 uh, considering the motor RPM is equal to 1500 and T1 is equal to 20 which is a number of teeth of sprocket 1 and N2 is equal to speed of the sprocket 2 which value we have to cal calculate here and T2 is equal to 40 which is a number of teeth of sprocket 2. To get the value of uh, T1 and T2, we have to count the number of teeth in smaller sprocket as well as in larger sprocket. If we put all this value in the formula N1 T1 is equal to N2 T2, then we will get uh, 1500 multiplied by 20 is equal to N2 multiplied by 40. Then N2 is equal to 1500 divided, uh, multiplied by 20 divided by 40. After calculation, we will get N2 is equal to 750 RPM. So the value of the speed of the sprocket 2 is 750 RPM. Now let us see what happens when the position of the sprockets get altered. Means uh, if we fix sprocket 1 in place of sprocket 2 and uh, sprocket 2 in place of sprocket 1. Here uh, we know the value of N1 is equal to 1500. Considering motor RPM is equal to 1500 and value of t1 is equal to 40 here after alteration of the sprockets and uh, the value of n2 we have to calculate here the value of t2 is equal to 20 here after alteration of the sprocket if we put all this value in the formula n1 t1 is equal to n2 t2 then we will get 1500 multiplied by 40 is equal to n2 uh, multiplied by 20. after calculation we will get uh, 1500 multiplied by 40 divided by 20 and the value of N2 becomes 3000 RPM. So the value of the speed of the sprocket 2 is 3000 RPM. By these two calculations we can conclude that when the sprocket size of the drive increases the RPM of the driven equipment increases accordingly and if we decrease the sprocket size of the drive the RPM of the driven equipment are decreases accordingly. I hope you have got a rough idea about the chain drive speed calculation. And if you find that this video is informative for you, kindly share with your friends and family members so as to get knowledge of chain drive speed calculation. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification of the latest video.